Hey guys, it is Jacob here with the first video review of the leveling build of the new Carino. Uh, I like the class a lot. It was a blast playing with playing it. Um, after the story, I just completed the story and I'm doing like 2.5 million DPS, which is a lot. Like normally, you would do around like maybe 500k and that's okay but this build is capable of doing 2.5 million already after story on bosses that said and around 500k on clear like this is the clear damage and that's around 500k and it's more than enough to clear any map and then you just delete the boss very quickly i will do a map on the end of uh, at the end of the video so yeah, let's review the build. Uh, I've changed the, I've used the leveling build, the pro build they recommend, but I've changed it slightly. So that's the recommended for beginners. That's what I used, but I've changed it slightly to move through the maps a bit faster. So let's check the skills first. Early on, you will just get two links. Then you add the added fire. Just use the links that they recommend you. Early on I was using multiple projectiles instead of wind projectiles until I opened the hero trade on level 15 I believe. And then I swapped back to wind projectiles. So that's the blazing bullet. Then compound swords with, uh, they recommend uh, residues. I like emergency restoration more early on because you need to heal sometimes. So that's what I use there and then limber stretch for movement speed. That's what I added just to get more movement speed from it. Um, really early on for a movement skill I was using blink bow with a bow or crossbow because that allows you to move through maps really fast. That's probably one of the fastest, fastest movement skills you can get. But uh, yeah, uh, you have to aim uh, to the other side than wh where you want to move. So that's the downside of that. Like the movement, you need to get used to it. But it's probably the fastest that can take you through the maps. But later on, I've changed it to blink that's what that's why what they recommend because later on you will start scaling a lot of movement speed and you will start getting movement speed on on items and you get some movement speed from trades as well so yeah the fast like movement skill movement skill is not really needed and with blink you can jump over some obstacles on maps and that helps a lot that it even can make some long maps really short if you know where to jump. So that's that. Uh, burst of Anger with Mania, that's obvious choice. The second link, they recommend extended duration, but if you are fast enough, you can use any other link that increases the effectiveness of the skill. I use ma Mass Effect. You can use Wellfoot battle, battle as well. But with Wellfoot Battle, you uh, would need to be even faster because, because it decreases the duration of the skill, which Mass Effect does not. So that's why I use Mass Effect here. And for the last skill, they recommend Aim. Aim is great on bosses, but for the general clear, you don't need it. And you just want to get through the maps faster. So what I was using, I was using Bloody Steps. Um, without any links uh, and after level like 55 you get this slot open so you can just add mania and you start moving through the maps <coughs> running from pack to pack using bloody steps and in the end just aim with self-sacrifice because why so sacrifice this rec they recommend mania so you can use it throughout the map but you don't need you don't need it in mapping so you just slot in self sacrifice and you is you use it on on a boss once and it never falls off so you can just keep shooting the boss bit i'm up and don't care about the skill anymore during the boss fight auras or passive skills flame imbue 
adds fire damage to your blazing bullet which converts physical damage to fire damage so that's more fire damage here summon thunder spirit for attack speed precise projectiles for projectile damage and charged flames for more fire damage the, the last slot does not open until you get a lot of energy on your gear so yeah and you need to use discipline on one of your auras to be able to use skills uh, that's for auras for passive skills i followed their tree and i've i've taken more movement speed later on so as you can see here damage they recommend life i go for movement speed because that lets you go through the maps faster and for the large passives perception for attack speed and rushed for movement speed in the marksman tree um that's pretty much again taking movement speed over projectile speed and life so movement speed here and then uh, agility, agility blessings because what agility blessings give you they give you attack speed and movement speed again so once you have six agility blessings you get like higher movement speed and on the large passives once you get this last point here I took euphoria to get more agility blessings and before that I've been just using this because uh, you are using wind projectiles so 50% of wind projectiles move, um, boost to projectile speed also goes into projectile damage as well as uh, this node and the second one projectile quant projectile quantity increases your <coughs> ammo capacity and allows you to shoot for longer so yeah take projectile quantity and projectile split everywhere you can and in the ranger tree it's just the beginning damage and attack speed with a little bit of movement speed here as well level 60 so this is where you will get for the hero traits um, the class is awesome I had a lot of fun because once you get your second trait the lower one you can switch between your stances without reloading which is nice but if you struggle with damage on let's say hunter's forge you can swap to this and you should deal more damage let's try it or maybe a little bit more but yeah so on single target you would be swapping to this one but for general mapping just use the second one because it allows you to swap like you are you are clearing the map like this uh, running around killing packs and then when some rare some tanky rares uh, uh, stay alive after your burst after after your explosions you just switch and finish them with this and then you switch back and keep running so yeah that's really fun about the character like you can swap the stances on the go and it scales from additional projectiles because this the the trait on itself gives you on the purple st on on the purple stands gives you plus two additional projectiles or projectile quantity and on the damage state it gives you 50% additional attack speed and cast speed if you would like to play the uh, like spell build with it like I don't know corrosive shot or um, what's the skill called 
this one chromatic shot that might be a build that would be interesting to play i think i will try a different builds so yeah we'll see <clears throat> Uh, what else is there? Uh, this on level 60 you can get to level 60 uh, in the last trove just run it a few times and You will get to level 60 really quickly So there's this one I believe So just run that over and over you will get gear with energy and you will get a lot of experience you can get to level 60 before you go to maps will help you a lot because this like this skill gives you a lot of damage as well but yeah for the gear i have nothing special just what whatever dropped i did not even bother swapping like to gear with more energy i would just go in for as much movement speed as as i could get and still manage to clear everything so yeah, for the build, that, that's it. And now I will try to do my first map. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Let's start with this. I bet that I will need a lot of those. And let's see how the build performs in map. Oh, as you can see it just clears everything because the damage is really high on this build in compar in comparison to the city and Rehan I played last season that's night and that's night and day like this is really smooth and really fun to play here I just swap to the single target delete the rare swap back it is the answer to and continue sentence. clearing I'll need some time Your reign and that's it so Leveling build, awesome. If you don't want to think about it, just follow the leveling build they recommend. You can find it in the flame icon, pro builds, quick builds, and get the recommended for beginners. You just click on that, click apply all, and the game will then show you what skills to take with this green, uh, green circle and what what supports what support gems to pick it will tell you what passive notes to take so just follow that you don't need to think about it at all the build is good the build works yeah so that's it i will complete the atlas in the next few hours and we'll see what with what with will i come next so next build will be time mark 7 probably and then time mark 8 and some farming strategies so yeah guys stay tuned i will see you in the next video bye